Hi, my name is Ming, and today we're going to talk to you a little bit about MAST and to give you a little background on why we made it and what it can do. And so within the past five years, one of the things that really came to the forefront in terms of mass spectrometry is public data has been released by the research community. And to date, it's several tens of terabytes covering hundreds of thousands of LCMS runs. Um, but historically, we haven't been able to do much with this data. And so we take some parallels from the genomics world to figure out what, when it can be useful. And so one of the key tools released by the genomics community in the mid-90s was a tool called BLAST. And what BLAST enabled people to do was take a genomic sequence, even if you don't know the function of that particular sequence, and ask, where else have I seen this sequence before? And from that information, you can glean context and be able to infer some ideas of, function, of functionality based on that information. And so similarly, with MAST, we want to ask the same question of mass spectrometry spectra, specifically tandem mass spectrometry spectra. And so one of the things we can do with MAST is take a MSMS spectrum, the precursor and the peaks, and ask where else have I seen this particular fragmentation in this particular molecule? And then not only where else have I seen it, it'll tell you the file name, the scan number, and the metadata associated with that particular LCMS run. And from here, even if you don't know the structure of the molecule that gave rise to the tandem mass spectra, it'll be able to inform, oh, I've seen this molecule in these, this and this context. And you might be able to reason about its importance and whether you want to you know, in investigate that particular molecule even further. And so that's just MAST in a nutshell and what you can do with it. In the next section, we'll give you a, a walkthrough on how to get your first MAST search running. So now we'll launch your very first MAST query and we'll take you through all the steps and the data that's required. And so first we'll want to navigate to the MAST page and we'll have the, the link below. And then one of the things that you'll need, the key thing that you'll need is your actual MSMS spectrum. And this includes the precursor MZ of the molecule as well as the actual fragmentation peaks. And so this is mass intensity of, of the, the tandem mass spectrum. And so you should be able to export this from your vendor software or open source software um, in a number of ways. You can also pull the peaks out of MGF files and MSP files. And so once you have that, you'll want to paste this into the interface. So first paste in the precursor MZ at the top and then also the actual fragmentation peaks, one peak per line. And then once that's in, you can enter all these optional parameters. For the very first one, leave them as default. And for the database to search, we'll search the standard GMPS uh, database. And so this will include both public data sets at GMPS and imports that, we, that had tandem mass spectra from metabolites and metabolomics workbench. Um, and so whenever Whenever you've chosen that, go ahead and submit, and then it'll actually do the submission of GMPS and kick off the job, and you're off to the races. And it'll generally take about 10, 15 minutes for your very first search. Once it's done, you can browse all the data sets and files that your particular spectrum was found in, as well as if that MS2 spectrum was identified to any uh, reference library spectrum. Um, and so that in is, a mass in a nutshell to run your very first search. There's several more intricacies that will be covered in documentation. If you want to see how other researchers have been using mass to help with their research, we have 10 examples and 10 videos uh, that are linked below uh, and you can see how they, they've been applying it from human urine, human stool, uh, human blood, um, all the way to model organisms, environmental studies, as well as discovering uh, new analogs of natural products. Um, it's super exciting, and so definitely check it out. And so hope this helped, and definitely let us know what you think about MAST and any ideas for improvements.